What is up, everybody? Welcome to part 6 of the Super Castlevania 4 LP. Starting this part, we are in Dracula's Castle. And this is where we will be for the rest of the game. I, I do enjoy the uh, outside portions of this game, as well as many other Castlevania games where you spend outside. The scenery is good, but I also like games like Symphony of the Night, which are always inside the castle. They're both good. I like both styles. And you should like both styles because it's Castlevania, and Castlevania is great. Anyway, this stage, I believe it is the ballroom. I'm gonna call it the ballroom because it, some of the enemies in this uh, section are ghosts, right? And they are dancing ghosts. They are a couple that is dancing. So I'm gonna assume this is the ballroom. Anyway, this is the first section we're introduced to the Axe Knights. And. Anyone who has played the classic Castlevanias know Axe Knights are your worst enemy, the hardest enemy in the game, besides, you know, bosses and stuff. <laughs> I'm sure many of us have childhood memories of the hall before death. Not fun times. Anyway, the... I forgot to comment on the music in the first section of this, and I like the music, it's so calm and... It really gives you the impression that you're entering Dracula's castle, but it's just a calm, you know, it's like they're expecting you, but they're not, they don't have so many enemies set up. I don't know how to explain it. This section is pretty weird, you know, you gotta you got cross the chandeliers, and for some reason, I have no idea, the screen in the background will glow red. It, did someone set off the fire alarm in Dracula's castle? Everybody get out! The castle's on fire! I, I don't know. Why? Uh, and why is it, you know, blink or flash red and then go black again? Anybody explain that one to me! I don't know. In this section, you gotta watch out for those chandeliers because they will fall on top of you. So, you know, just go left a little bit, inch your way over, and then go back right as soon as they fall. And they also split up a little bit, so watch out for that. And at this point, I realized, oh, I forgot the secret area. And if you go right here, mess around a little bit, you'll find some stairs to the secret area. In this secret area, there is health, and all the, all the sub-weapons are in these candles. Every single one. And there's also a dog with an old man ghost. And if you kill the dog, the old man starts crying. It's kind of funny. I didn't show it here. But I believe there are three of these secret areas. One of them in stage three, which I have no idea where it is. And I think the other one is in stage eight or nine. I'm not sure. I'm sure you guys know better than me. I never found them as a kid, and I never bothered to look them up, so... And I discovered that one on accident, so... Anyway. Uh, we have some... There's more ghosts. There is the, uh... These... I call them milkmen, because... It's like a ghost that's a milkman. That's what it looks like to me. There's also these multicolored uh, gas clouds, I'll call them. Hit them twice or three times and they'll go down. See, look, it's a milkman. It totally looks like a milkman. Who is with me on that one? It's a milkman. It's a milkman. Yeah, but they'll come from the left of the screen, so you gotta watch the left of the screen carefully, or they will hit you. And you, you're, you don't have that much health in this game. On average, I think you have four hits, so it, it's not like your health meter is generous. It's not generous. And there, right there, that is the, uh, the Roman numeral number three I was talking about. Now I can throw, or throw three crosses on the screen at one time, which is handy dandy, I might say. Uh, this section, I, I hate the bats, because they'll knock you into the spikes and could possibly kill you. But this whole stage overall is not too difficult. I have more problems with the boss than the actual stage. And normally I don't have much of a problem with the boss in this stage, but when I was recording this, I messed up big time. I didn't die, but I should have. Uh, more enemies in this section include coffins that will chase you around, and later in the stage you'll see tables, you know, they look like part of the background, part of the scenery, but if you walk by them, they'll attack you and chase you. Which I, I got fooled by in this, I think I got fooled by in this recording. I'm pretty sure. I know I did as a kid. Even when I knew about it, I'd still run into the tables and not realize it. And then I'm like, oh crap, I forgot again. Yeah. It's 
one of those things. Even if you know about it, you're still going to get hit by it. That's coming up soon. We'll see. I believe I refilled my health on the wall right here. Possibly? I don't know. Oh, okay. This section has these hands in the walls, right? And I don't know what happens if they touch you, but I just, I just duck and walk underneath them. And you'd think those skeleton warriors that are not moving would hurt you, but they don't. You just walk right by them. My guess is, if you get hit by those hands, they'll hold you, and then the skeletons will attack you. That's just my guess. I'm not sure. I've never gotten touched by the hands. Not quite sure what they do. Anybody that knows, feel free to comment and tell me. I love it when people comment. Right here we have a... A, the, a bunch of coffins spinning. I don't get the point. Uh, I don't quite understand it. Anyway, right here. Here are the tables I was talking about. Or maybe I don't get fooled by them. But if you walk by them, they will attack you. So it's always good to get rid of them. And here are the couple, or the ghost couples I was speaking of. Right there, see the tables will come alive. And these uh, ghost couples will dance around the room and try to hit you, but one hit and they'll go down, I believe. I believe it's one hit, let's see. I don't think I attacked them. I'm pretty sure it's one hit. Okay, it's two hits. Are we at the boss yet? No, we're not at the boss yet. We're still climbing up this, the ballroom. I think it's the ballroom, but there was also a part dungeon section, let's say. And there's a one-up, which is nice. I, that was actually the first time I discovered that one-up. I didn't even know there were one-ups in this game, but I discovered it right there. Alright, this boss I have lots of issues with. It's a giant dancing couple, right? So normally, I just jump on the higher pillars and jump over them when they come towards me, and that will dodge all of their attacks. Unfortunately, this time, I messed up quite a bit, so I just threw crosses, and luckily, I lived. I should have died, but I lived. Thank God for the three Roman numeral thing. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. See you all in part number seven.